Hi, hello everyone. Welcome to the channel. And today I'm going to show you how to import a raster data into QGIS. So let's get started. So in QGIS, the raster data can be imported in two ways. One of the ways is go to the option called layers and, uh, and click the option called add a layer. So in that select an option called add a raster layer. So now we can able to visualize here. We can just navigate back to the folder where the raster data is located. So now to the to locate the data, you have to click this three dot option. So let me click that. So now we can able to visualize. I have located one of my raster data here. So now let me. I'm going to click this raster data. And generally, the raster data will be represented in this format, like a picture, like and plus diff dot aux and dot diff dot o ovr. So now I'm going to click this particular uh, ND NDMI image of uh, raster. I have clicked this uh, raster image. I'm going to click now open. So now to add this layer into uh, QGIS, you have to click this option called add. So now we can able to visualize. So now we can able to visualize we have added a raster layer into QGIS. So the second way you can able to import a raster data in QGIS is by using this browser section. So why you have to navigate to your raster data set. So I'm going to navigate to my raster data set. So the second way is to navigate back to your uh, folder location. So you're going to navigate to my folder location. So now I'm going to click this folder called E. So now we're going to select my uh, raster layer. So you can now be able to visualize. I'm going to select the raster layer here. So now all you have to do is double click this layer to add this raster layer into uh, QGIS. So now we can able to visualize here. Now we have two different layers. So one layer that is our NDMI layer. That is, we have added through our through this uh, option called layer section. Go to the layer section, add layer, and from that you're gonna click this option called add a, add a raster layer. This. So second way you can add the raster data through the browser option. So now let me show you the place where you can download all sort of uh, raster data, starting from satellite image to a digital elevation model. So now let me show you that. So now you can able to visualize here. This is USGS Earth Explorer. So where you can download all sort of raster so raster data sets like satellite images and uh, the digital elevation model that is dem so you have to click this option usgs so this is the official website where you can able to download all sort of uh, raster data sets, raster data sets and the link will be given in the description to how to download a different ra raster data sets starting from uh, a satellite data sets to a digital elevation model will be available in the description so now let me get back to qgis so now we can able to visualize what you, uh, what kind of data is data set is this. So this is the this is not a point data set or a line or a polygon data set. This is the raster data set, and it is of a data set that is from the satellite imagery. So you can able to visualize these are the river tra river traces, and here you can able to observe the mountain ranges, and this part of the study region you can observe. So you can able to observe the the drainage patterns of the study region. So you can able to visualize the trace of the river so this indicates it is a water body so this fish this indicates this is a water body and remember this is not a vector data this is the raster data generally a vector data is represented as a point line and polygon and the raster data is represented as a pixels so now we can able to visualize I have I'm going to zoom in so we're going to observe the image gets pixeled so in this way you can able to visualize this is a, a raster data set So it is simple to identify that to confirm whether it is a vector or raster data. The generally the vector are represented as a point, line, and polygon. The raster layer is represented as a, a continuous pixels. So you can just zoom into the study region and you can confirm it is a raster data set. It has a pixels, so which represents a raster data set. So you can also clearly able to visualize these pixels are arranged in the rows and column. So the pixels are here represented in rows and columns. So the each cells are represented in different color as an aggregate of this cells represented as a, a image. So uh, we can also give a color to this particular layer. So basically I have uh, so basically I have used the Landsat 8 image and performed the NDMI uh, analysis and this is the result of NDMI analysis. NDMI here represents normalized difference moisture index. So it's gonna indicate the uh, highlights the region with the higher moisture content. So now you can also give the color to this particular raster image. So now let me show you that. 
So go to the double click this particular layer, NDMI Image 2020 and you're going to visualize in the symbology section. So here there is a render type called single band gray. So in that you're going to select the single band pseudo colors. So now you can able to visualize, you're going to select the color ramps here. You can select any color of your choice. So you're going to select this particular color called uh, Turbo. So I've selected a particular color called Turbo. So now I'm going to apply and click OK. So now you can able to visualize, this is the NDMI image represents the moisture index. So that is, you can able to visualize in this part of the section. So here, the highest level of color is represented in, that is represented in the red color and similarly, the lowest uh, level of color that is represented as in blue color. So as the moisture index, index indicates the moisture of this particular study region. So the red color here indicates the higher moisture areas. So here this particular red color, reddish yellow color represents the uh, river path. And similarly other part of the red color indicates the moisture content of this particular study region. The red color indicates higher moisture content and similarly the yellow that is the blue indicates the least moisture index. So I basically use the Landsat 8 image and perform the NDMI analysis and arrive to this raster image. So in this video I have shown you how to import a raster data into QGIS and I have shown you how to uh, give a color ramp using our symbology section of the layer and I have explained about the difference between the raster and a vector data. So thanks for watching and please subscribe to our channel and give us a like.